Greetings and welcome to Dream Syndicate. Today, I'm going to show you how I made a St. George and the Dragon art with art dolls, cardboard, and imagination. So let's get crafting. Over the last several weeks, I've been sharing my process for building a mixed media St. George and the Dragon piece. The characters in them are wire armature puppets or art dolls that are poseable, and they have polymer clay heads. To be exact, I used Sculpey. Those heads were then painted with acrylic paints. Then bodies or clothing were sewn directly onto the armature of the art dolls. This is only going to be a quick overview of the build process. If you want to see the entire build, you'll be able to find that on the playlist that I'll put in the first comment here. Next, I'll be sculpting St. George's head, first putting down some proportion lines to work from. And then I build an armature out of aluminum wire. I use quarter inch thick upholstery foam to bulk out the body mass. I'm sewing the character's chainmail armor onto him. Then there's a last detail of sewing a cross onto his tabard. We'll use a button for his belt. And then we'll just work at giving St. George some hair out of this fabric. With the characters built, it's time to start building the backdrop. With my Sharpie, I'm sketching long columns that are going to be the backdrop of rock that is going to be in this dragon's cave. I'm just using a utility knife here and some scrap cardboard to make these shapes. I wanted a variety of thicknesses in the rock wall that I'm building in the background, so I'm using different thicknesses of cardboard to help achieve that effect. With my very sized cardboard pieces cut out, I start arranging them into a shape that gives the sense of the interior of a cavern. For this project, I'm using small clamps, wood glue, and big clamps. Now I'll just go about generously applying my wood glue to the back of my cardboard pieces and setting them in place. Next I'll go about painting the backdrop. My palette consists of a few blue tones and black and white. I'll be finishing this piece with photography, and the ridges that are in the corrugated cardboard could be a problem, but my plan is to have the background be fairly blurry using a process called bokeh or shallow depth of field. In the same way that theater backdrops or old movie backdrops didn't have to be pristine because your eyes aren't going to be focusing on them, this doesn't have to be the greatest rock wall ever made either because your eyes aren't really going to be fully focusing on it. To help push the illusion of the depth of the piece, I'm putting lighter colors in the foreground and darker colors in the background. Now I'll paint the ground a mid-tone of the color that I used in the backdrop. Then I spread some rocks on the ground to make it look more cavey. And they definitely came with plenty of dust. Now I'm going to clear away some of these rocks to have a place to put St. George. Taking out my trusty Sharpie, I'll mark off where the wires for his feet go and drill holes in those spaces. And then I'll be fidgeting and fussing around with the posing of this art doll for pretty much forever in a day. Then 
Then I'll add the dragon and some more fidgeting and fussing with that. Once I was happy with the pose, I set up my digital camera and took some photos, but then I also moved the characters again and took some more shots and so on and so on. Out of that batch of photos, this was my favorite. I did a little bit of post-production in Photoshop, but I thought this one was the best. While there's parts of this that I think are good, I still thought I could do a better job, so I reshot it. I didn't think you could see enough of the dragon in this picture. I spent a little time sketching, and I figured if I could put the dragon up higher, I could show a lot more of both characters in the same shot. The solution I came up with was putting the dragon on a little pile of rocks and making it a wider shot. If you'd like to purchase a St. George and the Dragon greeting card or print, I'll leave a link to where you can get one below. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to join me in making the Imaginary Reality Weekly, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Until next time, make believe!